up the my uh, friends here are Naki Carter, my zoo bestie, marketing director, <laughs> and Callie Coxon, right? Yeah. You're an animal trainer, correct? That's right. And you brought a super cute and adorable <laughs> mammal, I assume. Yes. And tell us who this is and what's going on. This is Winnie. Winnie is a kinkajou. This is an animal that can be found in South America. Um, right now she's eating an orange, which is one of her favorite things to eat. They eat all sorts of different fruits, um, and then they also really like honey as well as one of her favorite treats. And they're closely related to the raccoon. And they have a long tongue, right? They do. That tongue is about five inches long, wow. so you can kind of see it now. <laughs> Could be a member of Kiss, the band Kiss, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that allows them to be able to dip into um, nectar that they can find in flowers, and so that's where that long tongue comes in handy. That's awesome. Now, can people have kinkajous as pets? I would not advise it. Kinkajous are um, very energetic. They can be very destructive. <laughs> if you're looking for something that's super cute and cuddly, they are not one to really snuggle. So right, right. <laughs> You are probably not looking for a kinkachu if you're looking for a good pet for your home. Now, Naki, you have events literally one getting underway right now. Right? That's, That's right. Zoo. Yes, Dragon Fest. We're <laughs> celebrating the Chinese New Year from 9 until 2. The dragon dances will take place at 12, uh, 1230. And then we're going to have fortune cookie prizes. Everybody wins. So come on out. <laughs> <laughs> so we should save a date for another event, right? That's right. So we have the Ladybug release party coming up on February the 16th. This is a great Valentine's Day. It's a post-Valentine's Day celebration. You release the ladybugs. You have a chance to win. Wow. Flamingo experiences. <laughs> Which I love, by the way. You have to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Anything with the flamingo. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a great time for the family, friends, everybody come on out. Okay, so we've been doing this all week. I've been to see the chimps at Lion Country Safari. We've gone to which aquarium did I say? Moat Marine. Moat Marine yeah. to have the manatees pick their Super Bowl winners. We had Daryl the Emu from the Palm Beach Zoo. Can we roll that clip real quick? Here's Daryl. He's coming out and he has to choose between the Patriots or the Rams, and so he comes on out and he goes for the Rams. That's two years in a row he snubbed the Patriots. So <laughs> I figured since we're in this mode of letting animals predict, and we kind of have a tie right now here, Naki, okay. we're gonna, the, the, the kinkajous love honey, right? Oh, yes. Okay, so we're gonna evenly place the honey out, and here we go. Winnie, you, let's place Winnie evenly, so I don't want anybody <laughs> angry at Winnie. There we go. So when he gets to go choose and going for the old fruit, going for my hand, I'm not sure what that is. That the I don't care boat? <laughs> and she, well, the Patriots helmet, but she, do we stick around and wait to see if she goes for the honey? Wait, we, we're close, and it's the Patriots. <laughs> so the zoo has two different predictions this year. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go to the puppy zoo, see Winnie. Where can you see Winnie at the zoo? Uh, so Winnie's often in our education programs and in our Wild Things show. Cool. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. All right, T.A. Walker, WPTV News Channel 5. It is rigged. <laughs> she was undecided.